March 24th get ready with me for church I feel like it's been a minute since I've been in front of the camera because I took a little break from vlogging and editing and everything and now I'm back to it anyways I'm gonna do my makeup I do have to work after church so I'm not gonna do too much or I'm gonna try not to do too much my eyebrows girl it's time to get them waxed but my birthday is coming up so I'm trying to like hold it down I did make an appointment next week to do my eyebrows because I have I have a photo shoot for my birthday. I decided to do one professional photo shoot and then the other one I'm gonna do a theme and I'm gonna do that myself with my sisters. So that's gonna be super fun and keeping the tradition of me DIYing my birthday shoots. Anyways, let's get into my makeup. <laughs> Now that I'm done with my makeup, I'm gonna do my hair. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's either between a bun or a ponytail with like braids out coming out of the ponytail. I recruited help to help me braid my hair. This girl right here, one thing about her, she's always gonna be hurt. <laughs> she's braiding with one hand with only four fingers. What happened to your finger? Um, yeah. How? I, I fell on it and it like this. 
Because I It's not out. funny, but On you're always head. getting hurt. You left out a chunk of hair. Yeah, she's getting hurt or something. An incident happened. Yeah. It's inevitable with you for something to happen. Okay, fit check, fit check. <laughs> Are you done? Okay, Emily. Bro. Let's get into this mini grocery haul. Um, I got two packs of these yogurts because I honestly never get tired of yogurt and it was on sale buy one get one free so like um hello that's a steal then I got my favorite granola it was also on sale buy one get one free I have been loving this chocolate one but this one is like my OG favorite so I decided to get both because I got some bananas which are probably going to be gone by tomorrow because my sister Jojo is absolutely obsessed with bananas and then I have strawberries and I got frozen shrimp and I'm going to make something with shrimp tomorrow for dinner because your girl needs to start cooking. The last thing I got was broccoli and I'm really regretting the fact that I didn't get any poppies. But anyways, I'm going to make... Hello there. But anyways, I'm going to make chicken and broccoli. I already made the white rice. Um, so all I have to do is the chicken and broccoli. My pan is currently heating up. I'm going to start seasoning my chicken. I'm going to use some black pepper. A very generous amount, clearly. Oregano. I love oregano, garlic powder, and black pepper on chicken. It just tastes so good. Some garlic powder, a little bit of paprika, and a little bit of Old Bay. I don't know why, I've just been loving Old Bay. I don't think you need all of these seasonings, but I like my food to taste really good. Okay, I'm gonna put my chicken in the pan. Then cover it. Once the chicken is like cooked, I'll add the broccoli and I'm gonna use teriyaki marinade and put some soy sauce to make like a chicken teriyaki with broccoli yeah i would put carrots but i don't have any i found this container in the pantry that wasn't being used so i'm gonna transfer my granola in there but i'm gonna also add some chocolate chips because i love chocolate chips with my yogurt next time i'll buy the mini ones but for now we are going to use this This is going to take me a long time to finish. I was watching my... You're right. I finished watching Station 19 and Chicago Fire. So now I have nothing to watch. The Netflix... Um I feel like that show I'm gonna have to actually like, sit there and watch. Whereas like I like shows that I could watch at work while I'm not busy but busy. I seen this post and it was like girls every week, every other week. Oh, I don't wanna cut my hair anymore. Oh I wanna cut my hair. A bob would look so good on me, but I want inches. Like why do men think they know us? Hi guys, I just got home from work and I'm about to go to church. It's 6.23 right now. Before I go to church, I want to make myself some dinner. I am going to make shrimp and pasta. Watch me make a quick dinner. March 29th tomorrow I'm hosting my first zoom Bible study that I'm actually so nervous for but I know Jesus got me so I don't have reason to be nervous but today I'm also starting some birthday prep which I'm excited for and what else am I doing today now I'm getting ready for work my skin has also been breaking out so bad and of course it chooses to break out when I'm about to go get my eyebrows done. I decided to get my eyebrows done, but I wanted to feel professional. Like I'm doing things for my birthday. I'm not just doing everything DIY. 
and I'm actually not because this year I'm doing a professional photo shoot next week I'm doing the photo shoot so you guys will probably see this after the photo shoot but you won't see my pictures until my birthday but anyways let's go get Dunkin I also haven't drank coffee all week because I've been limiting limiting myself because number one I've been spending too much money on coffee and number two I just don't think that much coffee is really good for my body because for so many years I wasn't a coffee drinker and then all of a sudden I'm drinking coffee like once or twice a day every day anyways let's go it looks so pretty outside this is my favorite part about waking up early I get to see the sunrise hey guys today is March 30th and I am hosting my first zoom Bible study I am so excited and so nervous at the same time because this is something that I've never done. I have never been to an actual Bible study like at a church. I am the first Christian in my family which I talked about numerous times with you guys and I kind of stopped sharing a lot of Jesus content on here. I just didn't want to be doing it just for social media so I stepped off of social media a little bit when it came to sharing so much Jesus con content and really wanted to focus on building my relationship with him off of social media even though I, I feel like social media helped me grow my relationship with him because I learned so much off of it because obviously I didn't have anyone to learn off of in my real life but there came there comes a time where you have to like step away and learn on your own so anyways this Bible study is something that I have been talking about doing since November I wrote about it in my prayer journal I talked about it with Jesus I talked to my Christian friends about it I even talked to my non-Christian friends about it and I asked my Christian friends to help me pray over it and help me pray on making this decision this decision I feel like I can't talk I better not be like this during the zoom but anyways I'm so excited so many women said that they were gonna join but right now it is 5 30 the zoom starts at 7 30 Guys, there's like five more minutes until the Bible study starts and I'm actually so nervous that no one's going to join. <laughs> I'm nervous, number one, that no one's going to join. And number two, that I'm going to be stuttering like st 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 the whole time because I get so nervous like when I'm speaking in front of people. Ariana's going to help me. She's going to read the Bible. I'm not reading the whole entire thing, Emily. I'm not doing it. Kayla and jo Kayla, this is Kayla and Jocelyn or Jojo as y'all know her. They're not joining on their phones. They're going to just be in the room with. Sorry, Jojo. I didn't mean it. Like <laughs> it's funny because she don't have a phone. Okay, this is our setup. <laughs> Look at all the lip glosses lined up. <laughs> My supportive sisters. Y'all, I'm so nervous. Someone joined it and then I guess since my camera was off, she they left. Oh. No, don't say anything yet. Don't say anything yet. Okay. She can see your lips moving. <laughs> okay, I will update you guys in a minute. He went away and discussed with the chief priests and temple police how he could hand him over to them. Listen, he said to them, when you've entered the city, a man... Read the chat to see where we're reading from, okay? I'm sorry. We're, we're on verse 10. I'll start over the verse for you, okay? So they went and found it just as he had. Good morning, guys. I am getting ready for church. Today is March 31st, 2024. It is Easter. I just want to take a moment to really thank Jesus and thank you guys for always watching and supporting my channel. Um, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about the Bible study last night. It went so much better than I expected. Like, I genuinely was so nervous that nobody would join, and people actually did join, and I'm just like, wow. I was honestly debating putting makeup on today because I'm like, I'm probably going to cry it all off, but then I just skipped a step. I didn't put my halo glow. <sighs> of course, leave it to me anyways it was so good and it was all that i could ever pray for and i'm just so happy that girls joined and 
I think that everyone just enjoyed what we were talking about. Even though I was kind of nervous, not even kind of, really nervous. I was like, what if no one joins? What if no one likes, nobody wants to hear what I'm saying? Like, I was just overthinking everything and that was an attack of the enemy. And all the girls were just like so thankful that I decided to go through with this even though I was so nervous because I truly just wanted to be like, um, not doing it anymore but obviously god called me to do it and everything happens for a reason and his plan is greater than mine so i'm obviously always going to listen to the convictions of the holy spirit in my heart and always listen to what god has to say and not always go by my emotions and my feelings because sometimes your own emotions and your own feelings could be holding you back from what god has planned for you and you just need to allow the holy spirit to move and just allow him to work because at the end of the day it's not about us it's about how we can glorify jesus and every day when we wake up in the morning that's how we should think and yeah that was a little word for y'all today i'm gonna get ready and then i'll come back to show you guys my outfit because it's a little bit different than what i usually wear but it's so cute so i can't wait to show y'all not me having a full-blown conversation a bit like this okay ignore my phone right here because i'm filming a tiktok but this is the outfit that I'm wearing for Easter this year. So cute. I've never really worn an outfit like this. So it's kind of like out of my comfort zone. My sister said that I look like a housewife from the 80s or 70s. Like, girl, I feel so girly. It's weird. But I will see you guys at church. I will be recording and taking pictures for my church. So I'll probably add some clips in here um, of the service so that you guys can see what it's like. And yeah, I'll see y'all soon. We just got to church. I'm so excited. I am so thankful for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let me show you Jocelyn's outfit because she looks so cute and girly. Hair by me, of course. Girl by. <laughs> dress by Walmart. She got dress. this dress last minute at Walmart, but it's so cute. And my shoes from, I don't know where Emily got them. Yeah, I got her the shoes from, for Christmas. Christmas. Wait, wait, Emily's outfit, guys. Oh, that's what I forgot my Okay. Phone. We got Emily's outfit. We got hair by me. Woo! Gonna do my we got hair? Yeah, sure. We got dressed by. Here's some, it's like OTD, like. Oh, oh, OTD. Yeah, but like from where? Um, I got this dress on Sheen, and these shoes are from Fashion Nova. Okay. Anyways, and next. Those are Shh. from the dresses from Sheen. Um, heels from Fashion Nova. Purse from Sheen. Drink from Duncan. <laughs> uh huh. And next. Um, shirt from Windsor. Skirt from H&M, shoes from Forever 21, somewhere in Dominican Republic. <laughs> no, voila, your turn. Pants from Rob, shoes from Belle, shirt from Walmart, purse from Kate Bay. Anyways. And the car from Honda. And the car. Right? Oh! Anyways, guys, so we're going to walk into church and praise the Lord. Yeah. For what he has done for us because God is so so good God is great every day of the year every day of the week and what she said anyways <laughs>